We're having our first ever uh, Lego Robots Camp here at the University of Regina. It's an opportunity to, well, that we're valuing science and technology. So we think this is maybe a good way to introduce uh, programming for the robots in an, in an interesting way. So it's another kind of literacy that we think will help them as they become engaged citizens in the future. We have eight kits, so our hope is to be able to loan them out to eight different teams. And I thought if we, if we have interest for more than eight teams, that would be a, a happy problem that we'll deal with when we get to it. We're trying to give them a sense of this first LEGO League. That was started by Dean Kamen, the guy who invented the Segway. So the idea was, instead of just having sports stars being looked up to and receiving all the attention, being the celebrities, that we could have uh, similar kinds of events for uh, things built around science and technology. And so these tournaments are quite big productions. You can find lots and lots of videos on the internet about them. So there's three parts to the activity in First Lego League. So there's the robot game, the project, and there's also the core values. Trying to be realistic that, you know, we don't have three or four months, we have three or four days to do these things and just a couple hours a day. So it's about designing robots and then also about programming. That's important, you know, we, th we think that computing literacy is very important, not just using computer applications, but understanding how they work and how each of us can think about what needs to be done to, to write software. So even though we don't all have to be software developers, that we can at least have a, an idea of what goes on when we turn the computer on and ask it to do something.